to open up your results on a level results day and see whether see whether you actually got that you wanted to die it's like a it's a feeling i can't explain you'll understand hopefully when you get there manifest manifest um so i am going to basically kind of give you a checklist on how to secure that aone star but but there are two positions where you can go you could be in and i will you need to see where you fall into and then follow that track okay like I was using tracks now but um yeah so a bit about me got a star or three stars do tutoring need help let me know and let's begin really so which position are you in do you know the content but basically have little to no exam technique and let's be so frank right now and let's be so real you've never even hit an A in the past paper so like you're just like, yeah, yeah, in the exam, I'll get it. No, darling, you're not going to get it if you can't get it now. Let's be so honest. But we need to solve that issue, don't we? So, track number one. I need you to watch this video. Of course, this video is more catered to biology right now. Um, but I do have chem. And I do have mathematics. Um, the same video style. D20 star. Uh, very very comprehensive step by step so that's your first point of call watch that i've pulled my heart out okay my entire heart out into those videos that are the guides so use it please like yeah um, um so that's your first thing you need to do that because i go through so many different like very niche things that you can do to instantly up uh, lift your grade it's about you know seeing what the high yield stuff is and it's hard to know what the high yield stuff is or how to do stuff if you haven't even hit A before, so let me just hold your hand, right? I know what I'm doing. Um, so that's the first point of call. And then after you do that, you need to watch the A or A star advice video. Again, I've got this for chem and mathematics. I don't know why I keep, keep calling it that. It just has too much aura, but um, yeah, chem and maths, I've got that as well. And the advice here is different to this. But this, is, this comes first, this comes second, okay? Now, what if, right? What if? You are hitting a high B. And you know what? You're getting A's most of the time. And maybe that cheeky, cheeky A star sometimes. Or even all the time. You never know. But let's be so honest. You want to secure. You want that A star to be yours. Okay? How are you going to do it? Well, you see, this time, um, like around this time when I was in year 13, I'd done everything, all the past papers, all the questions, just anything under the sun. And like, yeah, I was getting A stars, okay, A's, A stars, whatever, fine. But like, I wasn't satisfied, naturally, because exam stress hit me. And I was like, oh my god, it's nearly exam season, what on earth am I meant to do with my time? Because I keep repeating the same things I did, and I don't like that. So let's, if you're on that track, <laughs> continue with this video, okay? And then... Yeah, watch this specific one later, after this video. But I've got a checklist for you. So these are the things that I kind of went through systematically, um, you know, just a couple of weeks out from the exams. And I just kind of want to share them. And if they're useful to you, then I'm happy. Right, number one. <clears throat> Can you tell me the exact methods you are going to implement when a certain command word comes up? You see, I'm not called bio exam tech for no reason. It's biology exam technique. It's in the name. I know how much biology exam technique affects the, your grade because I was there. I was getting C's. So I'm, I actually did get a D once um, back in A-levels because I had no exam technique and I was on the first track. So that's why I know what it feels like. Because Can I just say, yeah? The crash outs were diabolical. I remember like doing biology and then crying or doing each question. It was not cute. It was not cute at all. Um, but we got through the trenches. Um, An exam technique saved me. Yeah, I, I knew the content. Like, it's fine. It's not that deep. But like, I didn't know how to answer the questions. I would see the question, get stumped. Um, and command words, once I clocked what the command words were saying, rather than a question saying describe and I was explaining and thinking why on earth am I not getting marks, I was like, I actually sat down with myself and thought, hmm, what is the command word saying? I've got a playlist, um, in my channel going through that, and currently I'm posting videos on evaluation, what 
can you improve in the experiment sort of exam technique tutorials so have a look at that if you don't know but yeah do you have an exact method because you should you can't go into the exam blindly because that's just stupidity I'm, I'm telling you now there are frameworks you can make stuff for yourself like whenever i saw let's say an evaluation question in my head in my head i already knew what questions i'm asking myself i'm like okay what well, have they mentioned sample size okay have they mentioned control group okay stats test question mark mean question mark like have they done this 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 you know correlation doesn't imply causation question mark like i would just constantly ask myself questions and then i'll use them to guide my answer so that's what I mean by exact method. Like, do you know what you're going to do? When you see that graph question, do you know how you're going to analyze it? Are you going to go from, are you going to mention the starting and the ending values? Are you going to mention the peaks? Are you going to mention the most notable uh, changes? Are you going to do general trend? There's so much, so much. So as for this, what I would say is literally write like in a notebook or something, but like, okay, explain and then say your methodology are you going to read the question and rephrase it are you just going to go raw dog and just like immediately anything that comes into your head just write it down like what are you going to do what are you going to do and the way you can really find that out is just open up a random past paper and kind of go through it like shadow work almost and just ask yourself okay if i if this was in the exam what actually would i have done um and to see whether that would lead to the answer or not and if not adapt it and look at my channel for the help if you need it. And then, yeah, have you established certain words and phrases for loaded? Oh, loaded. Wait, for loads of. Oh, okay, okay. Actually, no, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> have you established certain words and phrases for loads of questions? So what I mean by that is like um, the correlation is imply causation thing, or in classification evolution, you would write, oh. Um, phylogeny is the basis of classification or like if the question says transducer like any mention of transducer um you always define it or if there's any mention of positive feedback in the question you always define it and they are marks you know those sort of things um do you have a six marker question method do you know how exactly you are going to approach it mine is defo headings and bullet points you will never ever Catch me doing paragraphs. God forbid. God forbid. Um, and what I mean by a six marker question method is like, there are kind of like around two types. We have the practical ones, where it's either like, oh my God, design an experiment, or like, oh my God, tell us the improvements and whatever. Or there's like the content ones. It's like, okay, explain how, um, I don't know. How vegetative propagation, whatever, whatever. See, that's content and this is practicals. This is two sets of knowledge are needed for it. So if you already kind of make that framework for each type of question, you're sorted. Again, it's a game. I keep saying it. Everyone keeps saying it because it is a game. It's really not that hard. It's not that hard until you know how to play it. Okay, I'm not trying to gaslight because I struggled too much and cried on the floor too much over biology, but... Um, I got that in the end, didn't I? So if I could do it, you can do it. I'm telling you now. Uh, so yeah, you probably noticed comment thread is that I'm not telling you to memorize mark schemes. I'm telling you to memorize your th frame, uh, frameworks and approach to it so you can apply it to any question. Now, are you 100% confident on evaluation and what can you conclude? Exam questions. If you were to open up any random paper, you will... If, you would just basically see those two sets of command words keep coming up and they keep coming up then sort it out you know make sure you're 100 percent on them easy marks and if you don't know get to know my channel okay <laughs> and do you even know how to analyze a claim or conclusion a scientist or a student had mentioned um oh mentioned let's pretend that said that anyways um so that kind of links to evaluation and what can you conclude. If you don't know, I've got a video explaining how to do that. You just need severe toxic energy and very uh, sceptical energy as well. And there's such easy marks when you know how to do them. Um, but you need to make sure that you're tip top on this. Okay, very, very tip top. Um, and then have you isolated a question? questions based on the question type and analyze the similarities differences in the marks in for them so what does that mean i mean get your ipad get your tablet get your laptop i don't really care split the screen put the paper here 
I call this split screen method. Paper here and then the mark scheme here. Go through the paper, just like, you know, if you want to write answers or whatever, use a piece of paper on the side, but make sure your screen is like that. And just go through the paper, literally so nonchalantly and so relaxed. Be like, okay, I just want to see, you know, what the paper's about. You might have already done the paper and that's fine. That's good, actually. You should have already basically um, got through at least 70% of the papers thus far. But, um, yeah, kind of just, just go through it, kind of just see what the vibe is, okay? Very relaxed, and um, kind of see, you know, what, like, what are they playing at? What sort of questions keep coming up? And what I mean is, like, the command words, which ones keep coming up? It's a style of question, it's a lot of graphs, it's a lot of analysis, it's a lot of content questions, like, what is it? And have you isolated them? So, for example, if you know that you're really bad at explaining questions or describe the graph, well, take a screenshot, open up every paper, take a screenshot, take a screenshot of the mark scheme too, put it in Notion, put it on a document, or whatever jazz you want to do, or good, uh, good notes, and isolate them and work on them. Simple. It's not that hard. At the end of the day, if you're not getting marks in a section, isolate it, work on it, and you're going to get the marks. That's pretty much it. If you go through this framework, it will it will take a bit of time. It's not it's not a one day job. So hopefully it will keep you a bit occupied and kind of alleviate the stresses and worries of like oh my god I'm keep doing the same thing I don't know what to do. Um, so yeah, I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any suggestions for videos, <laughs> also let me know. And um, yeah, that's pretty much my method on securing that A on A stuff.